from Adesanya, who is firing on all cylinders tonight. Yeah, this is not looking good for Paolo Costa. He's getting picked apart here in this fight. Oh! I got him on the shoulder leg like again. Y'all must have forgot. Y'all must have forgot. Well, I know for a fact I'm the best in the world. Said it before I even go to the UFC. I'm, I'm such a sucker for a specialist. Whether it's a style bender specialist or mm -hmm. a striking specialist. I love watching the guys that are like at the tip of the, the ability. Like he's, he's like, in my opinion, probably the very best in the sport. This is perfect for the storyline leading up to everything. And I got signed to the UFC in February last year, and I've had six fights in the company. That's it. He has left Anderson Silva, Kelvin Gastelum, Robert Whitaker, Yoel Romero, and now Paulo Costa in his wake. Everything is just falling into place like I'm in a matrix. Israel Adesanya, man. He wants the challenges that other people may have tried to avoid. Whoever he's facing, he seems to just have an answer. You're looking to make history. You're looking to become just the fifth fighter in UFC history to hold two belts at the same time, moving up from 185 to 205. I've been thinking about moving up just to show off. I've done it in kickboxing. I moved up to heavyweight. This is just gonna prove to people that muscles don't win fights. He is a great fighter, but I know what true greatness is. Adesanya versus Blahovich is one of the biggest fights of my life. It's one of the biggest fights of my life. Champion versus champion is rare, it's special. I'm the best in the world right now and nothing can stop me. This is his division. He's been fighting all these guys in 205 his entire career. When he lands, he can shut your lights off. Believe in the legendary Polish power. When you clean out all the killers in your division, you gotta move up and wait. Beating all the baddest dudes, that's the real challenge and that's the real goal to me. Izzy is moving up to 205 and going after the belt. It's not about the belt, it's not about that, it's about legacy. And I'm chasing all the big names in this game, every one of them. When it's all said and done, they'll be like, man, that guy Izzy, that guy Styles, he's a GOAT. moments in this game. I'm here for moments. Let's see if he... Oh! He's really hurt. Oh, look at this! Jan's locked up a really good shot! I mean, he, he fights with as much skill as we've ever seen a striker. I mean, he's Anderson Silva 2.0. He really is, man. His striking's out of this fucking world, man. I like this chip on my shoulder. I like, I like feeling this way. I like feeling like the young Izzy, the the kid that was picked on, the kid that wanted to say you. I'll show you. I like bringing him out. I like drawing strength from him sometimes. I stay comfortable in the uncomfortable. Because this is a lot of dangerous weapons, uh, some really off-beat timing, and just the sheer like physical presence of the guy is just very strong. Get representing the land like we always do, like soldiers going off to war. 
come back with the victory. People who understand this game, for real, this is taking it back to back in the day, you know, when the Graces were taking on different challenges, bigger challenges, and showing that, that martial arts and pure technique can win fights. So I'm taking it back old school. <laughs> Israel, if we could start with you, please. At any part along the way of prepping here, did you sit back and say, hey, we've bitten off more than we can chew in this one? <laughs> Never. For me, this is exactly, um, like you said, what I've always uh, predicted to do in this game is change the game, change history. And I came in here just, just over three years ago, and look what I've done so far. And I got a long way to go. You know, I tried to knock him out and, uh, and you know, defend myself as the best I can. But you know, he is really good striker, so I have to be, you know, watch for everything. Because also he can knock me out. The UFC's undisputed light heavyweight title, Jan Blachowicz, in his first defense against the UFC middleweight king, Israel Adesanya. Good luck. Jan Blachowicz versus Israel Adesanya, your main event tomorrow night. Tonight, and of course, Israel Adesanya trying to join Daniel Cormier and a few others in that exclusive fraternity slash sorority, I guess, of simultaneous. Even during the introduction, all business right now. Both men seem to be his favor. Being that he does not have to chase him, he has a few times. Yep. Oh, look at that. That one landed by Adesanya. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's when it's a problem. That's when it's a problem. Completely, you know, outstruck, but he just keeps biting on these fakes. Right. Fakes. And that's what he has to do. Oh, there you gotta be close to Edisonia and doing that all night. Not Ooh, double leg. Oh, he takes the back of Edisonia. got big. He just let him carry you. If you're Jan Gohovic, just make him carry you. Be heavy. Good elbow. Like you said, that big Viking punches hard even from down there. Conceivably be 2-2 two -two as we hit our fifth and final round. Joe, if you're Gohovic, you gotta think one more takedown secured might be enough to retain the belt. Just managed to get out of the way of the big strike of Edesanya. Edesanya needs to take some risk. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful spinning back, back kick there, yes. Especially the UFC. Unless Adesanya had three rounds yes. banked. He lost those last two for certain. For certain. 49 45 for the winner. And still the undisputed UFC Going up 20 pounds to go up and challenge a Jan Bohovic, a big light heavyweight, is very difficult. Yeah, it didn't go exactly the way I wanted it to go, but you know, dare to be great. You know, the critics. And the ones on the sidelines, but I'm the one putting it on the line. It's like a bad day in the gym, but except, except it's in the office tonight. This is not a one-off. I definitely will be back. But um, yeah, like I said, dare to be great. I'm going back down to 185, and I'm gonna roll that with my iron black fist. The spoils of war go to the winner. The loser has to like walk away and uh, reassess and, and be humble and build themselves up again. Two or five to challenge for the belt wasn't always in the plans. The universe kind of just gave me this alley oop, and I missed that dunk. I needed to shake things up a bit and reshuffle the deck of cards that I've been handed, so I did that. I'm ahead of the game. I started to get to level two. I said, I and mean, they're still loading. For me, it was just another stepping stone in my journey. That's all it was. Like I said, after the fight, there to be great. You know, I'm three years in this company, and I'm already like going for double champ status and all that. You know, 
that most people aren't doing. So, yeah, it was just a little side mission in this game. And now I'm coming back to focus on the main mission. Back again. Where's my belt? What belt? You got a Gucci belt, don't you? No, no belt, yeah. Yeah, you should get I'm one. To get my, yeah, yeah, I'm, get I'm my, getting yours, brother. I'm getting yours, my friend. I'm not your friend. Because, right, this is a rematch. Is the Adesanya versus Marvin Vittori? What's going to be different? Who's better? It's not by mistake that I'm able to show up every time. It's not by mistake that people don't have an answer for a lot of the things that I've done. You want to be the best fighter in the world. This is where you prove it. He wins by technique Skill. and style. Beat him then, and I'll beat him again. How the f does this guy think he won? I remember the fight going my way clearly. Good. I just styled on him. Well, well, well. Taking Ezra through the Marvin Vittori fight, it'll just be interesting to get his opinion on how he feels that fight. Makes played his out. second UFC appearance against Marvin Vittori. He tries all that Greco sh inside trip. He tried it like two or three times in the first round. He missed all of them. They would try it. Ah. Really amazing the understanding of distance and the ability to control range. I felt like I was completely in control. So he won that round, yeah? It's definitely a round. <laughs> yeah. Here we go with round two. Oh, Adesanya! My punches, he kind of forces his shots. He's pushing his punches. Oh, I like that. Two down the book. And we're still two up. Show me some damage. But Vittoria has to work. He has to throw some elbows. What was that? Got blocked. He's flailing his arms everywhere. Do something crazy in the stand-up that I'm not remembering? I don't think so, because he looks dead. And that's that. 29, 28, for the winner by split decision, Israel, the last style bender. Now, one thing for sure. I'm taking this one super seriously, even though I already beat him. I just have to make that statement again. I kind of went to wreck this guy, man. Thanks for coming out today. We appreciate it. Let's start with you, Israel. Uh, so it's been three years, and Marvin's gone 5-0 and oh since then. So I'm just curious, where do you see him versus him? 5-0 I mean, oh against who? Look at the list of who he's fought. He only got here because he fought a bum at number 10. He was number six and he got to number three. Yeah, we can go back and who did you beat? Who did you beat from? Did you beat one you person you're at? on that list? What I know that's you do Jack Hermanson. Romero or what did you do to Jan? You lost your last listen, fight. Look at his so side, fun. look at you my side. Pattern Tell him the last fought. I'm the champion and you ain't, bitch. I'm not gonna be for long, I'm taking it. Remember what happened after UFC 248 when everyone was sleeping over and I said, y'all must have forgot. And I went in into Abu Dhabi on a private island and fight in front of a lot of billionaires and I f***ed this f up. I'm going to do the same thing this weekend in front of you guys. I'm going to f*** this dude up. Trust. Thank you, Arizona. We appreciate it. I'm going to square these guys off right now. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't f***ing touch him. Don't touch him. Don't f***ing touch him. I'm gonna become the first Italian UFC champion, no matter what, at any cost. Good luck to you, sir. We'll see you tomorrow night. He talks about pressure. Pressure isn't for everyone. I'm acquired to this taste. I love putting this on my back. I love putting that moment on myself. So when it's time to shine, it's all mine.
last style bender. In search of a third successful middleweight title defense. this time. I'll tell you what it is. You don't get to decide. I get to decide because why? I'm the motherfucking king, bitch. That's the fight, man. At 185, that's the fight. Bobby Knuckles versus the king. Can Whitaker close the gap between what happened that first time and now? I mean, he's goddamn Izzy really starched him that first time. Stylebender is so good. Yeah, this is going to be close. You got the length of Adesanya, you got the power of Robert Whitaker, you got the experience of Whitaker, you got the support of the hometown. Things are going to be really great for Robert Whitaker. It was anything but that. This was one of the most uncompetitive world title fights I have ever seen. Oh, oh. heard him again with yeah. the hook. Yep. It's that right hook counter every time Robert jumps in there. He's got to be very careful. He's trying New Zealand rivalry. That was one of the things that got in my head the first fight, honestly. It made such a big thing out of it. We've got two guys from this side of the world. The rivalry between Aussies and Kiwis, it's not going to end here. I'll guarantee you that. It was deja vu. It feels like I've been here before, and I'm about to do it again. I'm about to do it in a different way, a different timeline. It's not about money. This is, I love money, don't get me wrong. I do this for the money, but it's not about money. This is about legacy. This is about martial arts. This is about learning. Fighting is, is an art form, it's expression, and art is very subjective. It's public knowledge. I've been inspired by Anderson Silva since my start in this career. I just keep doing me, and the numbers chase me. Dude, we're just, we're used to this. This is our life. This is our life. One, two. Whether it's like managing the distance, just everything's got to be 100% on point. One, two, three. Yeah, the remix, I mean, we're expecting a completely different fight. We definitely, obviously, think Robert didn't show his full potential. He got shut down pretty soundly uh, last time. So we're expecting the fight that we were expecting the first time. I want to test myself against everyone of this era who's a beast. after being in there once with somebody, what is it that you benefit the most from? You're in their head. I was already there anywhere, but you're already in their head. I mean, the way I did it last time, you can't get over that. But you guys have to understand, this guy ran through everyone till he ran into me, and then I stopped that You can see the level difference between us and the rest of the division. There's, there's a reason why he's at the top at the moment. He's, um, he's a phenomenal fighter. I couldn't beat him the first time, and uh, I've had to put in a lot of work try and, and, and give him another run. It upset me that this, that this guy was like, you know, everyone was talking about him. 
and underselling me and, and, yeah. and just, I don't know, it, it, was, it was a weird dynamic. It did make it personal because it was personal. Yeah. Um, and I'm still hungry. You know, I'm 32, I'm fresh, I'm young. If, I, <laughs> if this was about money, if I was gonna just do this for the money and bounce, I would have done this like maybe three fights ago, to be honest, because I'm, I'm kind of set. To the scale is the former middleweight champion and the number one ranked contender, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. 184 pounds for Robert Whitaker. And his opponent is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, the last style bender, Israel Asanya. 184, the official weight for the champion. Here we go, folks. UFC middleweight championship on the line. Israel Adesanya oh. made his third successive defense against Marvin Vittori last June. We'll try to make the fourth one tonight against the former champion, Robert Whittaker. The fight. Title fight energy. Oh this is amazing. Fight clock is brought to you by Timex, official timekeeper of UFC. Timex watching. Anyway. Anyway. It is such a nuanced, striking approach from Israel Adesanya. There it goes right there. Yep. And that's honestly why Israel is your target. Oh! Early knockdown for the champion. What a shot. Oh, look at him. Nice Ooh, one. That is a huge right. comeback. Now, calm down, Robert. I just dropped you. I mean, look at him. Now he's punking it. Throwing in confidence. He backs it up. It's not all talk. The champion of the world, incredibly dominant. They just stopped to take that attempt, though. Is he still like taking a mile away? And you get dropped in the first round again. You know, yep. it's like, man, I've got no answer for this guy. Really is going to be desperate. Oh, he's taking Check some chances. Kick, raise the leg. Whoa! I mean, it's that kind of interaction that ended the first fight. Yep. Yeah. He's not going to just shoot and take him down. Now, these corners calling for straight shots for Robert. Only a better round. I know Kung Fu. Kind of telegraph that kid. But you got to start doing that to the body if you're Robert Whitaker. Because Israel Asani will always lean back out yeah. of the way of that kick. All right, here we go. Here we go. Nicely done. Got that caught him coming in. Put him off balance. Adesanya has so many tricks to make you in. in. It Put him off balance. I don't like the way Adesanya's got those fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and not straight ahead. Oh, that's a good job. Well, you see if Adesanya becomes super nice. Oh, that was that's heavy. The aesthetic damage on that lead light. Oh, it's just the variety of the attack. You know, you don't know where he's coming from. He keeps you guessing, but he has. Well, Mike, you're 100% right. He's left hand oh. opening. But the thing is, I think he's hesitant about throwing that right hand to the head. Yeah. He's got to put it straight right to the body. This is interesting. Doing a good job of fighting the hands. Great yeah. job of the champion fighting the hands. Nice little job. Look at that. He is eating that leg up, man. Whitaker isn't throwing that because he knows that when he's throwing that. Pressing on it. Oh, oh, nice oh, oh, oh. Shot again by Whitaker. You look at the eyes on the straight oh, away. Going back up. Pretty good left. Out of the break. The acknowledge by Adesanya. Final minute. Whitaker. And on another takedown, Adesanya wow. stays upright. But he gets the takedown now. What's the point? Nice to see them bury the hatchet, so to speak. Israel Adesanya and Robert Whitaker in the rematch go the full 25 minutes. Fifth, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of scorecards had Adesanya winning rounds one through four.
away from him. So he had nothing to lose. And like I said, I'm the big dog in this yard. I'm the champ. You want to come get it. Izzy, you are an absolute star, man. People come out to see you compete. Like, seriously, it's, it's all hype. Yes, it is. But I know what hype is, and I know what it can do. Dialbender is so good. I'm a bona fide star, and I know I am. I know I've got the effect. Adesanya is now the face of the sport. He is now, as of today, the biggest star in the sport. Everything going for him. Checks Spectacular talent, great personality. He's fun. I mean, he, he fights with as much skill as we've ever seen a striker. I mean, he's Anderson Silva 2.0. He really is, man. I want to test myself against everyone of this era who's a beast. I like Ali. He said this quote, I'm the greatest. I said it before I knew I was. From fight number four in kickboxing, I remember just feeling like I could be really, like, the best at this. He's telling us something. This is a guy with ice running through his veins. I'm big and black. I can't play basketball. I'm Nigerian. Football is not my thing. I'm from New Zealand. I don't play rugby, you know. Like, I couldn't catch a ball for shit. They called me Butterfingers in high school. But somehow, I was just like, I'm good at this fighting shit. I am young. I am fresh, I am hungry, and I want to fuck these motherfuckers up while I can. I was like, I can't do this shit forever, so while I'm doing this shit, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to really soak it in. Everything is just falling into place like I'm in a matrix. I appreciate you watching Glitch 3. Hope you enjoyed it as much as the first two. It'd be awesome if you could purchase any Amazon products through the link I provide below to help support my channel and its production. See you guys next week, and please don't forget to subscribe.